Hi, Superstress here, back on another Realm Grinder video, episode 76, and remember last episode I unlocked all the researches? I am now going to try to make a build out of them. So, I'm going to abdicate here, and I've heard the best faction to be is Dwangel. So, that's why I will be here. So, the event stuff will definitely make things seem like they're better than they actually are, just because, like, the events are just extr they're just so OP. Like, you, you just unlock all these, like, event upgrades, and... Yeah, so I'm not gonna pick a Bloodline yet. I'm not gonna pick any of these factions, because that would sort of, like, bias it. So, this this is gonna be extremely complicated. And I'm again, I'm gonna do it branch by branch. And maybe I should start with, like, the branch with the least amount of upgrades I can pick from, which is Warfare. So... I'm not even a I'm not even a dwarf yet, so I should probably pick that. I can I can get faction coins from repeated tax collections here. So yeah, I'm I'm now everything I can probably yeah, I can buy a bunch of buildings and this should definitely help things. So now that I'm dwarf, I'm not exactly sure what I should go for. Should I do Heaven's Domains or Dwarven Forges? So after casting some spells, I'm just gonna go all these heritages. Maybe that will help make things a, mo a little bit more realistic and with, with all the heritages let's see what i could do i'm still really not sure if i should go for the heaven's domains or door and forges or something else right now it's the citadel is doing the most so maybe i could go for a non-unique building build except I'm, I'm not sure like there is this increased production of other buildings by 75% per Dwarven Forge you own, which is really powerful. But then there's also this. Increase the produ production of Dwarven Forges based on the amount of Dwarven Forges you own. So, I'm thinking I'm not going to go for Dwarven Forges, especially with what this is doing right now. Like, maybe if I do cast all spells, like, you can just see, like, it's not the Dwarven Forges that are doing everything. It's usually the Heaven's Domains or the Citadels. So, I feel like I should, again, just go for, like, Good buildings. There's also this upgrade. Increase the production of all other buildings by 110% per heaven's domain you own, which means I could go for a citadel build. I'm just not sure which one's better, and this is really, this is probably the, one of the most challenging parts of the entire build. I mean, I'm tempted to try to go over heaven's domains, except the upgrade that is heaven's domain is actually a based on time spent with at least one active spell in this reincarnation. And well, it's a lot here, but it may be a lot less in other places. So I, I may just try to do something like increase the production of all other buildings by 10% per Heaven's Domain you own. Except there may be a sort of... Like, maybe I'm gonna... Maybe I'll do this. I'll make a non-unique building version, a unique building version, and... Or maybe a Dwarven Forge version and a Heaven Domain Domains version. I'm really... Not sure. This is this is extremely tricky. I think I think Dwarven Forges is the way to go. Like the thing is that right now Citadels are the most, but if I cast every spell, it's actually Heaven's Domain. It's probably some sort of challenge reward that's causing that. So I'm really not sure what I should do. I think what I'm gonna tr try to do is like this is like even with this, this is still less powerful than this one here. And if I get like both of them, Citadels will actually come out on top even when I'm casting all my spells. So I think it's the it's best to get this upgrade. And either go for Citadels or Dwarven Forges. Except Citadels are just doing so much more than Dwarven Forges. Like when I cast all my spells here, it is still doing 99.3% of all the production. So I'm thinking, because of this, I should get the increase the production of all their buildings by 75% per Dwarven Forge you own. And that's what I should... That, yeah, that, that, that should be my build. Which means I'm going to go for good buildings. I should not go for, like, neutral buildings. So that's, that's where I should start. Also, I feel like maybe I should get S500. I should get something that gets a lot of assistance. And preferably something that's not just time-based. Like, I think one of the 590 researches gives assistance. Well, maybe it does, except I'm in the wrong faction. Yeah, the, I'm, unfortunately, I can't get E590, which is 
much better alternative to C305, which, and there's just not a lot of other good assistant ones. Maybe I'll just do a branch by branch from this at this point. So at, yeah, at this point, I should not go for unique buildings. I should go for non-unique buildings, which is definitely interesting. So I should probably get, like, there's not a lot of actually very powerful stuff here. Like, I shouldn't go for the highest building tiers. Maybe I should, like, it's definitely a possible build if I wanted to go for Heaven's Domains. But I don't, I don't really think this is the way to go here. I think what I should do is get just the stuff like, this one's based on excavations made. And I'm only at 1690 excavations. This one is based on trophies unlocked. So that's pretty powerful. This one... Uh, this this one's just like a flat 15 times production multiplier. And since this is a unique buildings only, I probably shouldn't get that. This is a very unique, or not unique, but bad. It grows over time research, so I should not get that. And there's some two, some other production ones. And there's this 30 assistance, which is based on time spent being good in the reincarnation. Or 88 assistance which is based on the amount of trophies you unlocked. And I feel like, I'm not sure if, actually this is based on assistance owned. This is also based on the amount of assistance you own. So maybe, I'm really not sure. I feel like I should try to get assistance elsewhere. So here, I think this one is extremely powerful. So I, I'm gonna get that. Also I should probably get, like before I think of anything else, I should probably just do like faction coin ones. So, I mean, there is C250 and C400, but C250 is based on offline time spent in the reincarnation. This is based on faction coins found at the game. So, or it could even go 105, which may actually be better. I, I still think this one's better, especially since it's like a multiplicative 100%. So this will be my faction coin research. So here I'm going to look at all these. This one is a relatively weak mana regen boost. Like, I already have 232, which is definitely enough. And 340, 348 when I'm casting. Like, the only really good mana regen one is this one. Actually, there may be others. This one's offline production only, so it's bad. This one is looks very powerful. It's based on the amount of faction coins you found. And it's going up pretty quickly. And it's a 50 times production boost, so I'm going to get it. And this, maybe this is what I should go for for assistance, if I don't have Sun Force assistance. 246 assistance, based on max mana, which is a lot more manageable than offline time in a reincarnation. So, I'm thinking of getting this. I should probably look at everything else. Like, this is essentially based on mana regen. It's not as powerful as some of the other stuff. So, this is a very weak one. This is a stronger one, but it's still pretty weak. This is a spell duration one, but I don't really see... There's really not much that it's based on spell duration. So, I'm probably not going to get this. This is just a faction coin one that I don't need. This is... Um, this is essentially the dwarf bloodline. So this one could be very powerful. I could try to go for this. This is, again, offline production. So I shouldn't get this. This is an assistant production one, which is very appealing. And then this is... A strong mana regen one. So there's actually a lot of things I have to choose from here. I, this, this is a really tricky choice. There's three I can choose. There's a solid production one. There is assistance production one. Or just assistance. And I may even make like two builds. Or like if I have Sunforce assistance, I use like this one. If I don't, I use that one. I feel like... I should just go with this one instead. Or maybe, actually, I can just do all three, except there's this mana regen one that's very strong, and, and a spell duration one, which could be very powerful. So, it's, I'm really not sure what to go for. Like, I feel like maybe just S500 will give me the mana regen I want. Like, I'm, I'm just think, I'm thinking the best ones are this one and that one. And I'm really not sure about this. I feel like I should try to get S500, though. That's very powerful. And maybe I can go to the Spellcraft branch. So here, it looks like, yeah, these researches are all not really power, not, not very strong. Because they 
either are like pretty, pretty um, help the wrong building, or they give a weak mana regen boost that is like you know S five hundred is so much better. This is a strong, strong spell duration one, and it's based on mana produced in this game, so it's sort of like mana regen but over time. So it it does it seems like a very solid research. So I could try to get something like that. Except a lot of the other ones here are amazing as well. 50 times production boost. This one's useless. Useless. Um, pretty useless. This one's even better. It's a 60 times production boost. This is a max mana one, but it's still S500 is better. This one is pretty bad. And this one is doesn't even have a formula. I should probably just look up this formula. Okay, after looking up the formula for this, it's not very powerful. For the Cetatals, it's only about a double production boost. So I should definitely... I feel like the ones I should go for are the 50 times production boost. The 60 times production... Actually, it's even more than 60 times production boost. It, this is 120 times production boost. It's only when Holy Light's not active that it's a 60 times production boost. And then, of course, S500 which is very powerful. It's so powerful, actually, it's increasing my mana regen to almost 2,000 per second. And then I should probably get the spell duration one, because people say spell duration is amazing. And I feel like since I'm getting spell duration here, I shouldn't go, go for spell duration, like, over here. So maybe I should just do another mana regen boost, or actually, maybe not mana regen, I could just go for assistance. It's based on max mana. And maybe I should try to get some other stuff with max mana because of this. So, yeah, I'm, th I'm thinking, I mean, I don't have Sunforce Assistant. Honestly, you know what? I'm going to make two builds. One that I'll use this for, like, you know, Sunforce. Um, if I don't have Sunforce Assistance. And then a somef something else, like perhaps this, for if I, if I do have Sunforce Assistance. So I'll just go to another branch at this point. So craftsmanship branch, weak mana regen boost. Honestly, any additive mana regen boost is just is just so bad compared to S five hundred. This is only neutral building, so I don't I shouldn't go for that. This is faction coins. This is good clicking reward, so I could try to go for this. It's basically amount of gems. This is again in production of all buildings based on clicks in the reincarnation. This is production of all buildings based on the amount of research made. So this is definitely, um, as uh, yeah, 120, 135, and 150 all pretty good. This is faction coins, of course. This is the C305 thing that I, I don't really think I should try to get because it's based on offline time, the reincarnation, which is you know time walls. Another additive mana regen boost. This is pretty weak. This is the dwarven forge one that I decided to skip. This is a non-unique building one, so it's definitely a solid one. It doesn't look like the best, but it could definitely be one I may choose. And then this is just increase the, like how powerful diamond pickaxe is, which is not really that powerful. So it looks like what I should do here is just take the production ones. Act, there's actually not a lot of really good researches in the craftsmanship branch. I mean, there is this one, but it's again, I I'm, I really. I'm, this offline, based on offline time of the reincarnation does not, does, does not appeal to me. And also, I'm surprised, this is only 1775%, even though I have a million clicks because of, um, getting C460, which may, I may actually get, because a lot of the other ones are not very good. But 150, 120, those are definitely powerful. Honestly, the best ones are 135 and 460, so... Yay, I actually that that was actually useful.